Morning, guys. Come on through. Kick your shoes off first. You guys want a coffee or anything like that? My name is Harry Bryant, I'm 25 years old. Uh, I was born in Noosa Heads, Queensland, and I'm living on the far south coast, New South Wales. It's where I do all my um, pondering and relaxing and a few wet weddies on the line here. I've got a boat over there that's a, actually a recent purchase. That It's actually got psycho subwoofers in there. He can blast tunes, scare all the fish away. My old man was a surfer and and I just like my earliest days and I just remember being at the beach all the time, like just rolling around in the sand, making sand castles. <laughs> That's kind of like where my love of, of the beach and, and the ocean and surfing has like stemmed from for sure. When I was about 17, 18, I wasn't really that keen on competing anymore. I moved down to the south coast and a lot of the bodyboarders down there were showing me around and I just started surfing for the love of it. The draggers saved my life. Yeah, they scooped me out of the gutter and, um, and took me in and, and fed me pies and baked beans and tins of tuna and here I am, yeah. Look at you, Buzz, you're the star of the show. You're the star of the show, mate. Pretty nice little morning ritual. Me and Buzz really like scoping out every little nook and cranny along this coast in the morning. Yeah, it can definitely be a grind. I spent a lot of hours in the car, driving around looking for surf, sleeping in cars and motels and batting down the hatches when storms are rolling through and it's kind of all, it all adds to the adventure. Time to pick out some weapons. My whole uh, driving force behind surfing at the moment is having a board for every type of conditions. We're faced with some pretty small surf at the moment. We've got a few grovelers here, which should get us out of trouble. What we're doing is so, uh, it, it revolves so much around, around nature and like mother nature that is, and it's like you, sometimes you just feel so in the palm of a tan. Where we are now on the far south coast, it's the, the waves aren't as consistent here. I've kind of been putting some time into, into doing some other things as well, like just a lot of camping and, and fishing. This is a pretty cryptic zone in here. It's a nice thing to be able to kind of shift your time and, and, and put time into doing other things, like just appreciating nature and going on walks and um, you know, just taking a bit of time to just, yeah, just kind of soak in the beautiful place you live in, I guess. This is about as fresh as air will ever get in here. Yeah, just I think being, like being in the water is like such a natural, a natural thing for me. It's just where I, I feel comfortable and I'll always have the ocean as a comfort zone. Given the planet's made up of 70% water, <laughs> you can kind of find a nice little comfort zone like pretty much anywhere really.
my uh, retirement plans to be the local postie. I've already got a postie bike too, so I just need the high vis in the mail bag and I'm good to go. <laughs> mail might not even be a thing. It might just be all email probably in the future, you know? But hopefully it's still around so I can deliver it. <laughs>